You have Isaiah? 54. You got 54. Now, you know, five is the number of grace, right? Because I'm, I'm about to show you something. And I want, to, I want you to catch the, the wind of it. She to catch the wind of it. Okay, I'm going to teach you something. Because I want to ignite the God in you. If somebody trying to get something on you, man, that, 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 man, that, that ain't nothing. You got the hope of glory on the inside of you. If you saved and received Christ as your personal Savior, filled with the Holy Spirit, the Bible says he's placed this treasure in earthen vessels. That's right. That's you. You're an earthen vessel. He's put this treasure. So what am I doing? I'm igniting. And if you're not saved, then you have the opportunity to give your life to Christ afterwards. But he's already done it for you. So you can participate ahead of time for which you, which you have not qualified personally, but Christ has qualified you. Ah, uh, I said something there. He qualifies us. All right, let us, let us go ahead and read that, Joseph, verse 17. Wait, 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 work the number, work the number, preacher. Five, Isaiah 54. Five is the number of grace, numerically. Four is the number of creation, to create. God gives grace to create. Create, if you will, changes a thing from its uh, 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 initial use, if it's a negative, and to its purpose, a positive. And so when you look at creation and you put grace and creation together, five and four, you get the number nine. Numerically, nine means finality. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things are becoming new. Somebody say, I'm glad, glad. that whatever's in front of me, that ain't looking like God, it's going to change its appearance get behind me to propel me into the promises of God. So the old me is passing away. And behold, everything about me is becoming new. I'm changing my garments of complaining to a garment of praise. Go ahead and praise him right there. Pastor, what you doing? I'm, I'm coming out of my act. Because I'm tired of putting on for everybody. I'm, 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 ready, I'm ready to be me in Christ. Come on, praise God right there. Say, I'm ready to be me in Christ. I'm ready to be me in Christ. Pastor, doing, he up there undressing. Why? That suit jacket. Don't make me who I am. God says, I am because of Jesus. Oh, yeah. These cufflinks, oh, oh, they sharp. Somebody gave them to me the other day. Burberry cufflinks. But why? I'm going to get off on another name, and I don't know my name. When he called me into Christ, he called me by Clarence. Oh, oh somebody in here needs to be encouraged. Because God knows your name. Somebody out God knows my name. The Bible says that God has the, 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 the hairs that's on your head numbered. You know when they come in, you know when they go out. Old saints say, blessed be the name of the Lord. We're always dressing up for everybody else. Have you ever thought about dressing up for yourself? Have you ever thought about dressing yourself for God? Dressing yourself in the garments of praise? Have you? See, the Bible, the Bible wants us to understand something very significant when we look back over in the book of Acts, chapter 16. Turn there for me, verse 25 there's something that I must extract from the word of God so that you may be able to be partakers of it go ahead and read that Joseph yes sir I'm up here stripping on TV <laughs> streaming they trying to figure out what's going on I'm coming out my act all right read I don't need to be 
what you want me to be. I need to be who he called me to be. Oh, come on, saints. See, I'm going to show you something about this midnight. There's something that I'm about to extract from this midnight that's going to set you free. Go ahead, read it again, Joseph. We're and almost at, done. Five more minutes. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly... There was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the so prison... change came after praise, right? All right, read. That's why you don't want to be late for service, because it's the praise that changes the environment you may be in right now. Read. So praise brings change. Make sure you get in your notes. Praise brings change. Read. So that the foundations of the prison were shaking, and immediately. All the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. So change then brings a shifting of environment. Yes, sir. A shifting of environment to work in your favor. Right. Change brings a shifting of environment to work in your favor. Read. And the keeper of the prison awakening out of his sleep. And, and whoever it is that think they can hold you back will wake up to find out they didn't have no dominion over you. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. You're only as you're only as weak as you think or strong as you think. Get that in your notes. I'm teaching today. I'm equipping you. I'm building the saints today. Read, Joseph. And the keeper of the prison, awakening out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for the light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. So the same ones that had him in bondage had to honor him. And Paul and Silas did not usurp his authority. God opened the prison cells and they still didn't step out on him. So I ain't telling you to step out on your boss. I ain't telling you to step out and get rebellious to get your pastor. That ain't what I'm telling you. I'm telling you God will set you free in the environment that you're in. If you will stop complaining, start praising and then he'll cause the authority that may be over you to see what God is doing and they will have to acknowledge that it's God. Midnight is one hour before daybreak. Let me say it again. The change will come and it's still dark. A matter of fact, midnight is the darkest hour of the night. It's the latest moment in time right before daybreak comes. And when daybreak comes, lights start coming in a dark place and where you couldn't see because it was dark all of a sudden light will start breaking out around you and you realize the day that you were in before you ain't in no more because it is a new day a new day it's a new day and you begin to praise God because it's a new day all things passing away and behold, all things becoming new. Come on, 20 seconds of praise. Tell somebody it's a new day for me. New day. Come on, praise day. Me. New day. 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 Nothing can hold me back. 
Hallelujah, I'll never get hold me back. Nothing can stop me. No day. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm on top and not the knee. It's in my pride. Hallelujah. It's in my pride. It's in my pride. It's in my pride. Tell somebody start touching people. Is in my praise. I'm gonna praise him this morning. Spot of what it looks like. I'm gonna praise him. 